Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertix. Have you ever think how great bug bounty hunters exploit the CVs even which you don't know or heard about it publicly? Don't worry because I'm going to disclose your amazing tools apart from Nuclei where the CV will be detected and if it is vulnerable so we can exploit it with the actual code. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in this video, we are going to disclose about the amazing tools which great bug bounty hunters never say about it. That is about the POC Bomber. Yes. So the POC Bomber is a vulnerability detection and exploitation tool which is only finding high and critical levels of vulnerabilities just like RC, arbitrary file uploads, deserialization attacks, SQL injections attacks also. Now these types of vulnerabilities have some CVs that is the critical vulnerability exposures publicly available. Now, we even don't know or it is not mentioned in the Twitter also that this particular CV is publicly exploitable. But this tool finds all the CVs and exploit if the domain is vulnerable for that. But just keep a note that as this is an automation tool, there might be a possibility of false positive result. So don't rely on that. But you will get a detection properly. So if it is there, you can also try manually to perform this attack. So. Interesting, we had given that is the POC bombers that suppose the vulnerability detections of popular vulnerability components such as WebLogic, Tomcat, Apache, JBoss, NGINX, Struts2, and many more. So, over here, let's just directly jump on the installation parts and we will see the different aspects how the working of this tool is. So, coming to this installation part, so it's just a very simple part that is a git clone. And then we have to move that directly and install the requirements from the pip because this tool is made on the python one as i have already installed this tool so i am in that poc bomber directory so i will just use our target domain that was at dell.com as i have uh, gathered the subdomains of dell.com previously in the video if you have not checked out please go and check it out you can click on the i button description to how to enumerate the domain so I just directly uh, go to this that is the python3 pocbomber.ty and after that hyphen f the file name where it contains the list of the domains that is the del.txt so let me just hit enter and see how it's gonna work so as you can see it is similar to nuclei right but it is way faster than uh, the nuclei template because you can see the different types of uh, vulnerabilities and the CVs they are uh, trying to exploit that is uh, let me just hold for a second over here and yeah CV2018 WordPress site editor HC3 IMC even I have not heard about it but see uh, how this particular tool is working Spring Boot vulnerabilities Jolo Kia Real JNDI RC also and there are also Log4j's vulnerabilities also so yeah even we had got some of the domains which are vulnerable for this think php driver display rc.php it is showing it is vulnerable but we as i said earlier also this tool might give a false positive result so you have to check confirm about this domain is working or not so let me just copy that domain so i guess let me just use this one so copy and then as this tool is made on the Chinese language so obviously there might be some kind of solution they had given in the Chinese language but don't worry we have Google we can translate those languages also so let's just wait for that to load okay now the domain is not working and we are unable to connect this domain but then too it is showing that it is vulnerable for young UNC file receive servlet kind of vulnerability over here so it is a false positive vulnerability so we don't rely on this tool only right so suppose if you get a vulnerability like remote code execution or nginx parsing vulnerability like this so how are you gonna exploit it right because we have detected this one website is vulnerable for etc etc kind of cv how we can exploit it so in the new tab i have already made one uh, website which is vulnerable for nginx parsing vulnerability now what does it mean you can google it out so you just have to enter the domain which is vulnerable through the detection part and then use the flag hyphen hyphen poc of which vulnerability it is vulnerable for that so 
in this case if this domain is vulnerable then the script which we are going to use that nginx parsing vulnerability.py so you just have to paste it over here and use the flag hyphen hyphen attack so it will use and to start exploiting this vulnerability in this domain so let's just wait for a few more seconds because it is really fast okay attack has been failed why because uh, we have to check it manually also right so let me just open the link okay this domain is not working properly and it has some internal server errors so due to which this particular vulnerability is not able to exploit it but does it contains nginx issue over here so we can look through the another extension which we call as vapalizer and most of the bug bounty hunters even the biggest bug bounty hunters use this vapalizer tools so as i am using a kali virtual box so it will take some time over here because uh, the complete scanning is going on of this tool so that it will take a lot of time for that so if nginx is there you can manually try to exploit this vulnerability also so this is the way how you can find a critical and high level vulnerabilities and you can report those vulnerabilities in the bug bounty platform also so i hope you understand how to use this poc bomber tool as this is just an alternative of nuclear tool but the advantage of this is it is a chance to exploit a vulnerability directly by using some flags which i have shown i will share you this tool link in the description so you can access it make sure you find a good number of vulnerabilities if you have any kind of queries you can ask me in our telegram community channel so i'll see you in the next video till that time goodbye and jai hind Dance, 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 dance,